Think about the sum of square value you might obtain if you compute sum of square for the two samples. The two samples, sample A and sample B, the x score is 103, 156, 200, 398. Second sample B is 101, 102, 103, 201. Notice the sample B bounds, the minimum is 101 and then the maximum is 103. It bounds uh, from 101, 102, 103. Whereas for the uh, sample A, the smallest one is 98 and then the highest one is 300, it bounces quite far. Which sample will have a higher sum of square value? You should not need to calculate sum of square to answer this. By looking at this, you can see that this one has bigger uh, variance or dispersion compared to the sample one. So the answer is sample A. Will a sample that has a larger sum of square also have larger value of the variant and also the standard deviation, assuming that n is the same, n is the same as the answer. Yes, sample size that has a large sum of square value will have large sample variant and also the large standard deviation is because sam uh, sample variant depends on the sa uh, sample size, no, not, not sample size, uh, sum of square. Where and also s depends on the variance because s is square root s square. So if this is large, therefore this is large. If this is large, the standard deviation will also be large too. Okay, so there's the explanation. Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative and helpful. Before you go, make sure subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. Jumpa lagi.